Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. In my last video, we discussed the famous case of Mohri Bibi versus Tharmodas Khosh. That case is relating to contract with minor when I am having knowledge that I am entering into a contract with a person who is minor. If you haven't watched that video yet, make sure to check that out and then we will continue with this case. So in today's video, we are going to discuss the famous case of Khangul versus Lakhasin. This is a case of 1928 and it was decided by Lahore High Court. So this case is relating to contract with minor without knowledge. That means the minor is misrepresenting his age and I do not know that I am entering into a contract with minor. So the basic difference between Mohre Bibi case and Khangul versus Lakhasin case is that in Mohri Bibi case, I was having the knowledge that I am making a contract with a minor. In Lakha Singh case, I do not have the knowledge that I am making a transaction with a minor. That is the basic difference between these two cases. Now let's move with what happened in Khangul versus Lakha Singh case. So in this case, Lakha Singh was the minor and Khangul was the other person who bought a certain property from the minor. So in this case, Lakha Singh was the minor who sold an immovable property to the plaintiff by misrepresenting himself to be a major person for 17,500 rupees. So out of this total amount of 17,500 rupees, plaintiff paid 8,000 rupees in cash before the sub-registrar and for the remaining amount of 9,500 rupees, he signed on a promissory note. Basically, making a promise that he will be clearing that remaining amount whenever it is demanded by the plaintiff. But after taking the money, after the transaction was done, the minor refused to deliver possession of property, saying that he is a minor and he is not bound to perform his part of contract. So, in the case of Khangul versus Lakha Singh, Khangul basically demanded possession of property or restoration of benefit that the minor has taken. That is return of the money that he has taken or giving possession of the property. So in this case, the main question is when a minor enters into a contract by misrepresenting himself, whether he would be liable to restore the benefits that he has taken. So because this was a contract with minor, the contract itself was not valid. It was void. So specific performance was not granted. Because minor cannot be asked to perform his part of contract because contract itself is not a valid one. But in this case, court ordered for return of that amount that the minor has taken. So what court basically held is that a court of equity cannot allow the minor to take advantage of any transaction where the minor himself was involved in some kind of a fraud. Basically, minor trying to play fraud against someone else and then minor himself is only taking benefit out of that transaction. That cannot be allowed by court of equity. So it was held that we cannot ask for specific performance of contract, delivering possession of property, but we can definitely ask for restoration of benefit, return of the money that the minor has already taken from the purchaser of property. In the 9th Law Commission report relating to Specific Relief Act also we see that courts should not rely on basically the document to see the real intention. But what court can do is that they can look into the situation and try to observe what was the situation exactly, what were the intentions of the parties. Now under the Specific Relief Act, we have a provision. Section 33 of the Specific Relief Act. That gives a discretion to court. So basically, depending on the situation and circumstances, courts can decide whether they will ask for restoration of benefit from the parties where a contract cannot be performed or it is to be cancelled out. So this was all about the landmark case of Khangul versus Lakha Singh. I hope this case is clear to you. To know more about the landmark cases relating to Indian contract act, you can check out my playlist over here and also to check other videos relating to different legislations and other legal topics, you can subscribe to the channel and also check other videos there. I have created different playlists for different subjects so you can go through them accordingly. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.